I like code like this. Simple, clean, easy to read. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do a lot. So in this tutorial, we're going to display the bitmap in the onDraw method. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Right, um, we're going to be implementing the pinch zoom functionality. So what we're going to do is start setting up the code in our custom image view to actually do a lot more uh, in preparation for the pinch zoom part. In this part, we're going to do the implementation of displaying the bitmap in the on jaw method. Okay, so we'll make a start. So we need to go into our custom image view here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I need to add some more members here. I need to add a, a bitmap to represent the bitmap we're going to uh, display in the onDraw method. And I also want some variables to contain the bitmap width and height. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is create uh, our bitmap bitmap member. Let's call it member bitmap. And I'll just put this as, it's actually going to be the image width and image height. This is members to represent that. That can change. And that will be an int. Do one for height as well. Okay, the next part inside this custom image view is I'm going to set up a method where we actually get the URI from the activity, use that to get our bitmap, and then we're going to do our sizing for that bitmap. Okay, so I'll put it to the bottom here. Make that public because it's going to need to be accessible from the activity. Um, can just be void and set. I'll just call the set image URI because we're going to be getting the URI from the activity. It's going to pass, be passed, passed a URI. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to get the bitmap from the URI. So let's create a local bitmap variable here. And we can use the media store to help us with that. Images, media, and get bitmap. And we need to part, get the content resolver. So we need to get the context first to get the content resolver. That's one member, and then we'll just pass the URI for that. And I'm going to have to put a try catch harness in there as well. Now we need to set our aspect ratio just so we get the right proportion of the image height in regards to its width. Now we've got a bitmap, we can get set the aspect ratio, it'll be a float. And I'll just call it aspect ratio. And it's going to be the bitmap height. Let me make a float there. Just cast that as a float so we can get the proper values to our aspect ratio. So it'll be a bitmap uh, height divided by the width. Okay. So I've got the aspect ratio, now I need to get my actual width of my image. And that width is going to basically take up the entire width of the display. And to get, to get that value, I'll use display metrics. And to get display metrics, it's called get resources, get display metrics. Okay, so now I can set my member image width. equals call the display matrix and that will provide us with the width pixels and now I've got my width and my aspect ratio I can now get the height and 
and I'm going to need to round that up because the aspect ratio is a float. So basically I can round out the result of that value. Okay, so it's going to be the M image width multiplied by our aspect ratio. Okay, so we've got that value now. Now we can actually set a scaled version of our bitmap. This would normally have to be done in a um, back what we'd call a background thread, not on the main UI thread because it would take up too much of the res uh, too much of the resourcing on the image thread, causing stuttering. But I'm just going to put a link here where we show you how to load a bitmap on a background thread. But for the purpose of this tutorial, where I'm just doing work on a custom image, I'm just going to leave that out for this sample tutorial. Okay, so let's set our M image bitmap. So I'm going to create a scaled bitmap, and we're passing our bitmap. We've got now the image width and height. And we're going to set the filter as false. Okay, there's two more things here. I've now got the bitmap available. I now need to tell my custom image view, all right, we've got a bitmap, please display it. So we need to call our refresh, tell Android to refresh our custom image view. So I'm just going to call it an invalidate to tell it that. Um, I'm going to add another call where we request the layout. And this is going to be for a following tutorial where we need to do the sizing. Um, and so we'll call this now. Okay, that's fine there. So now let's go and actually display our bitmap on the uh, in the custom image view. And you'll do that in the on draw method here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is call a canvas save and canvas restore. Right now we can actually display our uh, bitmap on the canvas. So we've got called canvas draw bitmap, pass in our bitmap, and we, we can now, we just want to set zero, top left and top right hand side is where we want to start positioning of this. And we're not going to set null for the paint object. Okay, that should be it for the implementation of our custom image view. Now we need to call this from our activity. So let's go into our activity. Create a new method. I call this pinch zoom pan method. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to actually call the set URI. So let's get uh, uh, let's get the representation of the pinch zoom image view. We'll just call it set an image URI and M image URI from the previous tutorial. Now we want to remove the thumbnail and display that image. So first of all, what is it? M image view. Let's remove that by calling set alpha, passing a 0.f. Now now we want to just change the visibility of our actual custom image view. Set visibility, and I'll make that visible. Now we need to call this method. Let's go into our zoom image view here. I'm just going to comment that out to want to validate that our custom image view is properly working. Called pinch zoom pan. Now I just want to do one more thing. Um, I should have done this in the previous tutorial is just aligning um, the positioning of our custom image view inside the layout. So let's go to the layout um, XML file here and just like for the image view how we've done the layout center and parent as true we need to do the same here. So let's call Android Lay out center and parent and make that true. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I believe I've done all the changes we need to make in code. So let's try running this and see what happens. It 
application's now started. Let's record that so you can see what's happening. Okay, oh, photograph of me. Didn't really want to show this one. Okay, now just hold the finger down, long press. Okay, there's a picture of me doing some Japanese calligraph calligraphy. Oh, good, can't even say it properly. Anyway, so we can see we've got the proper dimensions being displayed, and this validates that our on your implementation and our custom image view is working. So that's good. So that concludes this episode of the Android Image Viewer tutorial. Basically, we got more in depth in our custom image view and demonstrated how to display our bitmap in the onDraw method of the custom image view. Anyway, if you want to get notified of the further updates, further episodes of this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest news and, and changes and everything that's happening in the world of mobile application tutorials, above is a link to all my um, social media accounts. So you can click on any of those if you've got a PC. And don't forget, forget directly above me is a link to my main website. And as well as having uh, a copy of the video, actual video, you've got sample code down below with the explanations and also the details of GitHub. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.